For Gary Allen, the road to Nashville took a detour through Huntington Beach, California. That was where I lived uh, right before I had a record deal, probably 10 years ago. Wow. Right there on the corner. If so you could live across the beach without a record deal, imagine yeah. what you can buy now with yeah. the record deal. <laughs> Woo! By age 12, Allen was playing local country bars with his dad and older brother. Well, they offered you a record deal when you were 15, right? But your dad said, no way, you weren't That's ready? That's exactly it. Um, he wanted you to get kind of kicked around well, he, at the clubs? Yeah, well, he, he felt like uh, I was imitating people. So he said, uh, you, need to, you need to play the clubs and figure yourself out more before you go in and let a record label tell you what to do. Otherwise, you're too pliable. Until you're sure that I By the time he and his wife Angela moved from Surf City to Music City in 2003, Alan was used to doing things his own way. Now, I was reading something where you said that you were kind of proud not to be a part of the Nashville system. I'm sure that went over real big in Nashville. <laughs> you know what, I, I, uh, it's my home now. I guess I've always felt like an outsider, um, but I don't so much anymore. You're only the best I ever it took a tragedy for Nashville to finally embrace this California cowboy. A year after their move, Angela, who suffered from depression and migraines, took her own life with a single gunshot. It's devastating. You, you just kind of kick back and take time and, and hope that you work yourself through it okay. And, and I think without music, it would have been 10 times harder. Right now I'm sitting out here watching it. Alan sits on top of the country chart with Watching Airplanes, the lead single off his CD, Living Hard. Do you think that everything you've been through in your life has made you a better artist? Absolutely. I think I could have lived without it and been a mediocre artist. So what if I don't do it like everybody else does? These days, he's recognized from Nashville to Huntington Beach, but it's Nashville that treats him like one of their own. Once in a while, a kid will just go, hey, I love your music, but that's about all I ever get here. But you're right, in Nashville, people come over and sit down at your table with you. <laughs> <laughs> Share part of your meal, grab a fry. Like Denise Kwan, CNN, Huntington Beach, California.